So in our last video, we ended up with a nice shot of this girl in the uh, outdoors. And the aperture was at f16. So what we want to do is we want to talk a little bit about aperture so we understand that. It's also sometimes called depth of field that you have to understand. At a small, oops, at a small opening, which is f16, the, pretty much everything is in focus. And when you go to a wide open uh, aperture, like a f2.8, less of the shot is in focus. We'll be doing this in our classwork. So wide open, shallow depth of field, closed down, longer depth of field. So let's take a look at how that might work. And when you adjust one of these, you have to adjust either this or this so the exposure can work. Okay, so this was f16, 1 60th at 100. So let's change this. We want to say, let's try to get this shot at f2. Let's see if we can, let's see what we can do. Now let's go to f4. Okay, so we're two stops over. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to make this smaller so less light gets in. Okay, so I'm getting down there. I'm at 8,000. 8, I'm at now at a thousandth. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Still, boy, that's a 2,000th. Okay, I'm close. And I'll just move the IS. So this is as far as I can go here to 2,000 on this particular camera. Let's, so let's just bump this slower. Oh, I don't have slower. This is, it looks like this is as far as I can go. This is as slow as I can go here, as fast as I can go here. And I can't, I can't go down here because it's overexposed. So the best I can hope for is an F4. Alright, let's take a look at what it looks like at F4, 1 2,000th, that's screaming fast, and a 60th of a second. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, light comes through at F4. Shutter open for us. Oh, a microsecond, nothing. 100 ISO, and bang. There's our shot. Now look at the background. Look at the difference in the background between this and what we had before. So shallow depth of field, wide open aperture. Okay, let's go to somewhere like F8 and see what that looks like. Now since I've gone to F8, I've closed down the aperture. It's, it's not as big of an opening. So I'm going to have to make the, going to have to let more light in through the shutter. So I'll open the shutter up and, and I've been saying stops. And basically a stop means if I go from F8 to F6 or 5.6, okay, basically each one of these is a stop. That's what that means. So I go to F8. All right, so to get this, I have to let more light in. So the window has to be open longer. I'll make it at a 400th that'll, or 500th. That seems to work. So let's check F8. 500th, 100 ISO. Now look at the image now. Background's out of focus. The girl's in focus. Let's see what happens step by step. Okay, F8. So it's relatively, um, it's the middle of the road F-stop. You know, not, it's not the widest, it's not the smallest. 1 500th, that's still pretty fast. Okay, we've clicked it and we go to the sensor at 100 ISO. And let's take a look at the picture. Okay, now she's in focus, but the background starts to be a little not, a, it's not as out of focus as it was before. And look what happens when we compare this image to the other two. At 2.4, the background was uh, significantly out of focus. At F16, the background was very, very sharp. And at F8, the background is medium sharp. And so that's how the aperture works and the effect of the aperture.